is something else I want to talk about. You have something else that you've done when you talked about the three years and a long journey. You had in, you brought investors on board. And one of the things, the reason why I, I said you're the Harriet Tubman of the financial industry, not just because of the education piece, but because of the, the investors. Uh, I've seen it said that you, within seven months, you were doubling um, some most of your investors' money. Um, can you speak a little bit about that uh, or if there are opportunities? Most people don't catch that. I don't know if they think, like, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know if they, they catch that or how difficult that is. Um, yes, to do- how rare that How is. rare that is. Yeah, I literally put a post on Facebook with what we've done and then asked people to tell me what other investment they had that has done higher returns than what we're currently doing. I went around to all of my investments and said, tell me what other investment is in your portfolio that's doing better than what we're doing right now. Nobody can tell me anything. Commercial real estate doesn't do returns like that. That, that, that commercial real estate has great returns. They're, they're known for that returns, but commercial real estate, if you can get your money back in two years, then you're doing awesome. So to get your your return in seven, eight months is phenomenal. It's it's unheard of. It's it's almost impossible. It's not a get rich quick, but it's, it's, it speaks to your knowledge and your planning, your preparation and, and your, your education your education about what you're doing. Thank you. Um, that's pretty much kind of what it boils down to. We are very strategic. A lot of people, <laughs> and especially, you know, even when I date, people are like, I can't figure you out. But it's like, <laughs> you know, a lot of people, a lot of people just can't. <sighs> I don't think what we're doing is that magic. Let me say it like that, okay? okay. It kind of boils down to simple math. I think that the issue, I take a step back. I'm a behavioral scientist, right? Okay. So I take a step back and I say, what drives people not to have high returns? And what I would say, what I would call that is pretty much kind of this false sense of urgency. And I think that people are too busy trying to get rich quick. Okay. You know, um, there's a meme going around with Warren Buffett that, and I don't know if Warren actually says it, but it's like, hey, Jeff Bezos says to Warren Buffett, why doesn't everybody just do what you do? And Warren says, because nobody wants to get rich slow. So if you understand the mechanics of how to get rich slow, and then you simply take the time to be strategic about those mechanics, and then align them properly with your company and then line the people up that you need to help facilitate you with those mechanics. And then you do it in such a sequential order that you can shoot it out like a cannon. Uh Then you have the ability to be able to scale properly at a rapid pace. You see, the problem is most people either rush rush into it and just throw a whole bunch of money at it. So they quickly start losing their valuation. You know, they might raise a bunch of money or different things like that, but they end up not really having their equity. I still own over 80% of my company. Structuring. Yeah, structuring. That, that's, that's important. The, the structure of how you do things and the timing in which you do it. You know, I met a lady that's raising a seed round right now. She's raising $3 million. Now, I know times have changed since when I first started, but I think that's a little bit much to raise $3 million on a seed round. You know, you're you're still in research and development at that point. And your your valuation is not as high as it could be if you simply was to take and I'm kinda of giving you the key right now. Okay. If you simply if you simply was to just take two hundred and fifty thousand, you know, and have your valuation at whatever level and then be able to execute further on that and then have a higher valuation and now you take another half a million to a million at that valuation, you just made money for your investors as well as you just made money off of your money at a higher valuation. 
But people don't want to do that. They don't want to execute. <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah. You had it on the head, though. One time when I was growing up, I had a friend tell me, I had all types of people offering me $5 million, $20 million, all types of stuff like that. $35 million. Like one million. Right. Friends be like, why are you not taking the money? And I was like, why would I do that at that valuation instead of, you know, taking a little bit and performing? I got this and the third. And they was like, yeah, but then you're going to have to really execute. Then you're going to have to really hit your numbers. And I was like, I intend to hit my numbers. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, exactly. I'm bet on myself. Right, right. I'm going right. to bet on myself. And you just hit that right on the head. Most people want to take the money. They're not really actually confident in their product, and they just want to take the money. But if you really actually confident in yourself, bet on yourself, take a little bit at a time, and make money for you and your investors. Uh, Miss Rich, if you don't mind, I'm gonna pause for just a second. I, I my, my brother just stepped in. I was okay. over just. Hey, Miss Rich. Hey, how are you? This is this is my 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 better half. <laughs> well, you don't know how long we've been waiting to talk to you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been, yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. That, that would be a, a, a privilege or an honor. Um, speaking, speak a little bit more about execution. Can you break it down to a, a layman's level? And for those that. Uh, just joining in with us, we're speaking with Miss Angel Rich. She's the CEO and founder of the Wealth Factory. Um, I would say I would say take the time to Google Miss Rich, the Wealth Factory. Uh, she's also the inventor of a credit education game called Credit Stacker, and uh, she's also the inventor of a game called Stock Fighting, which is invaded. It hasn't been released yet. Because uh, my, my twin was able to download it. I couldn't download uh, Stock Fighter. Yeah, I was actually playing them. I asked my team to take it off, so it might be back off now. Okay, okay. If it, it tested, it was, it was a quick dip. It was a quick dip, you know. Okay. It Okay, okay. I, I saw it on your face when I tried to grab it, and, and, and I saw it out there, but it wouldn't let me download. Then when I went back, it wasn't even out there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was like, "Wow!" But um, you must have tried to download it on Apple. I did. I did. Yeah, no, it was only on Google Play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 That's what it was. That's why. Okay. But um, okay. so, so Miss. That's research. It's research. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. got a lot of feedback. You got a lot of feedback. Okay. Yeah. Positive. Yes. Um. People. Some people. Some people are so critical, though. You know, we clearly kept saying that it was bad. And people are all like, you know, expecting it to be the final product. And I'm like, it's beta. Then after a while, you got to learn to just ignore it right, right. and, and get what you need. Right. You know, uh, Kim Kardashian wouldn't be where she was if every time she posted a, a, a lip shade color and somebody said, you know, right, right. Just, if they just concentrating on that side, she's trying to get the research for the lip color. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Right, which which you 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 spoke about execution, um, and and staying on task and following your goal or your dream. Can you speak a little bit about that to help help us or those of us that want to transition to you? Uh, how, what 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 you mean about execution or 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 the slow steady race? Can, can, yeah. So for the first three years of my company, I took only non double capital, and so I was actually I was actually kind of a little bit of a pioneer um, with that. But you know, you got to take them and lose them. Anyway, I was in the Washington Post um, for being innovative. I think in like 2014, 2015, I don't remember the exact year, uh, where basically I went and hired. 15 students from, I'm going to give you two keys. I went and hired 15 students from the Art Institute of Washington that couldn't find jobs that were high quality students. And then I brought them on to my company and had them work for me for free. 
these students were able to go off and get amazing jobs after working for me. Two of them even went to go work for Cisco, and one of them proposed to their girlfriend, got married, and had a baby. Awesome. And, yeah, and so, and before, like, you know, six months before that, they were all sitting at home, unemployed, unable to do anything. And at the same time, I was able to build the first iteration of credit stack. Um, people called me crazy when I first did this. Like, why are you using students? I, I, you know, you can use uh, technologists. It was the, the thought process to do that was not there. And so um, I, I really kind of started doing that. And then other people in D.C. started doing it. Then other people in D.C. started doing it. Then all of a sudden it became cool. You know what I'm saying? It's investing uh, in, on both ways. Because uh, they can use it for an internship on the resume. Yeah, yeah, that's what they did. All of a sudden, it was 17, 76 interns with universities and high schools. I'm like, oh, doesn't this look familiar? Exact program that I've started in here that people were clowning me for. Okay, interesting. So um, the second thing is pitch competitions. Once again, people call me crazy. Hey, Angel, why are you win so many fish competitions? Is this free money, fool? <laughs> why aren't I in the fish competitions? So it's like, uh, it was really a, a method for me to be able to obtain free money without diluting my company. And I really could have kept going for much longer and got a lot more. I actually stopped. Uh, to be able to help other black women in D.C. Uh, there were, it was getting to a point where every single competition I was entering, I was winning. Um, I tend to get things down to a science. Right. And then once that happens, I start to feel like it's unfair. Like I have some right. type of advantage. The <laughs> <laughs> advantage. Right. And so, uh, and then at the same time, I, I, was, I was okay. I went from struggling to being okay. And I, was, I knew that the other females around me were still struggling. And so I was like, let me let me fall back and to allow them, because I saw who was rising on top. And they and it was like two ladies I was trying to help, and they did. They started winning. Okay. And so um, one I'm still cool with, one I'm not. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I think that that's really important. And that's how I still own more than 80% of my company. Because during those first few years, like somebody else who want to raise three million during that time, I I didn't take on no investment. Then it got to the point y'all really want me to break it down. Then it got to the point where I took on um, thirty five thousand for ten percent of my company. Um, fast forward, I then met another investor who uh, basically wanted to invest in the company. I then uh, kind of flipped the money around. I had him give me $70,000, uh, but I did it like this. I took 50000 of it as a loan, and then I took 14000 of it as equity. Why did I do this? Because I took 35000 of that 50000 went back to my previous investor, Pay Paid them in. off, so now that you don't owe them, the equity back from them. And then sold the other guy four uh, percent at fourteen thousand and kept six percent. Then I flipped that other six percent, hold held it, raised the valuation to five million. Then flipped that six percent at five million valuation. So I just took the same six percent that I had previously sold. At three hundred and fifty thousand, basically sold at fourteen. Exactly. So I I'm not trying to be super detailed. No, 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 no. It's under. It's under. <laughs> We're with you. But, yeah, <laughs> and so yeah, so you, you gotta you gotta flip your own equity. You right. know what I'm saying? That's that's one of the kind of I don't think I've ever anybody. And so <laughs> that was one of the things that I did. Another thing that I did. And that I still do is that I hold I, I hold our valuation and I market our valuation before we get to the next level. When we were at three fifty, I had already said that we were that we should be at three point three. 
When we were at 3.3, I already said we should be at 5. When we were at 5, I already said we should be at 8. We at 8 right now, I'm already saying we should be at 20. So That's by, 20 million, guys. So by doing this, this is the this is the gym. I'm able to line up investors at that next valuation. So that helps me quickly enter into the next valuation because your valuation is solidified once you have the first lead investment. Okay. And then it also helps me close the round before that because they know that the next round is already coming and is already solidified. So if we had three investors already lined up on a $20 million valuation, why wouldn't you put your money in right now and close this round at an $8 million valuation? Because it's going to increase. When, when, when. I wanted to uh, back up two things that you talked about. Uh, how, how is it too late to invest in Angel Rich or your companies? Or and if it, if it's not, how 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 do we uh, find out that information? Yeah, so you can email us at info at getmonkeylife dot com, as well as we are in the building middle of building a crowdfunding um, campaign. You actually just remind me I got sent the, the notarized letter, in. Um, but yes. It should be launched like August 20th. Okay, August 20th. It should be launched like August 20th. And right now, you can just email us and just straight invest into the company right now. But if you're looking to kind of do a little bit of a lower amount, then you can wait for the crowdfunding campaign. Okay, and but give us that that information again, where to, where to go for that crowdfunding after August? So crowdfunding is going to be on NetCapital and on com. And I just met a... a a black guy as well. We're gonna put it on there too. So oh. we're working on uh, all, going through the legal documents right now. Basically, you have to uh, have things filed with the SEC. Right, 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 right. So, but it was info um, at info at get get black black. Black. Yeah, right. and that's gonna to prompt you to tell you where to go to for when the August twentieth date comes, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Info at getwealthy.com. Well, I want you to back up. Info at Get Wealthy Life. Our website well, is getwealthylife.com. Get Wealthy Life. I, can. Yeah. I want you to back up if you can and, and address um, when we're talking about acquiring investors. We're, we're talking about basically acquiring capital to move forward with your company. But I got a specific question as it relates to that because a lot of a lot of businesses are so eager based on you know Shark Tank and stuff like this to be able to take on investors, and and there's nothing wrong with that realm. But but if something that that I don't really think people understand is that you took the patience to build it brick by brick. You know, that's brick by brick. Talked about earlier, right? Ex- so execution. Um, um, because again. The, 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 cult, the culture, the climate is, especially with the new law, opening it up where people, anybody can invest almost. Uh, people are going after the, the investor, but you're selling off your soul or your, your baby, so to speak. Unless, of course, the key was to build it to get to a certain dollar amount and then flip. Of course, now, if you were doing that, then that's a, different, a whole different animal. But if I want this company, the significance of, of, of and I know that it's a matter of perspective, right? Because, uh, you know, every owner don't feel this way. Because, but there are owners out there that that have I feel like are being sucked into the the I guess the wave of angel investing, you know, or people saying, "Well, uh, evaluate your company, and I'll give you this for X amount of stake in your company." That's the part. Of it. And the second part I wanted you to do was speak to evaluating evaluations. If there's a simple way to say, for the layman's term, how to evaluate your company. A lot of people feel the need to watch. To bring in a lot of money for their company. And I think if they're really trying to do it out of uh, desperation, as well as just a lack of confidence in themselves as to what their company could do in the future. And I think if you are just sitting around trying to get rich, like I had one friend tell me, it was nothing, it was sort of nothing wrong with this. He told me, I have an algorithm that's the best user acquisition algorithm in the world, right? And it outperforms Google by 7.5 times. And I'm choosing to use it to spread financial education and uh, gamification and, you know, uh, things to help people improve their lives. And uh, this gentleman suggested to me to just create a flashlight app um, and then just scale it and put a bunch of ads on it because I'm able to scale anything that I want to. And 
it had never, I don't want to say never, but it didn't really occur to me that people was just trying to just get rich. You know, yeah. like, with, like, no intention behind it. With, like, no, like, this is how I'm trying to change the world. Right, or, right, right. Is, no substance, yeah. Leave or, you know, I, I can even see creating something like sticky notes. That's not necessarily um, making people smarter, but it is it's making people more efficient. proficient, yeah. yeah. It's still... You know, uh, even Swinkies bring happiness, <laughs> something, brother. Create, you know? create something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And it, it, it just fascinated me. Uh, and I just never had that approach uh, to, to, to my kingdom building. I wanted it to be with purpose. And I kind of I kind of also use the analogy of the brick by brick uh, situation because I kind of envision myself as a person that's on the ground, that's sort of building a house brick by brick by brick, as opposed to other people who are stacking them high. But as soon as you have a hurricane or a tornado come through, that's you know, you, you bet no good weather. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I bet no harsh weather. Right, 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 right. I'm betting on harsh weather. And so it's like I'm betting on all four seasons. And so you can't just build something for one way in one season. And hey, people end up coming a lot of, you know, popsicles real quick in the summertime. You know, and, and some people are able to do that. But in the black community, we really don't have that opportunity. And you really need to be able to be prepared to, to, to weather the storm in all different circumstances. And I believe that's one of the ways that we've been so sustainable. When I look around at my friends now that I started with, like, you know, I'm one of the first three uh, black entrepreneurs part of the startup movement in D.C. And I'm friends with all top, uh, all first 100, for sure. It's, a, it's like thousands now to kind of help open up the gateway. Hi, I'm Alden. And I'm Calden. Thanks for following us. You can find us on Facebook at Good Twin Bad Twin Unleashed and also on Instagram at Good Twin Bad Twin Unleashed. Now don't forget to watch our YouTube page and make sure you like and share our videos. Also go to our Facebook page, check out our t-shirt line. We have several wonderful t-shirts there that helps us to continue to provide good footage for you. Thank you.